Yeah, I was just in Germany mm. uh, yesterday, and so they've had two terrorist attacks plus that yeah. 18-year-old child, and so it's been a uh, very um, in, in, in uh, world of instability right now. recently, um, and I, I'm I'm afraid that it's going to get a little worse. Um, mm. And I, I really believe that, um, first of all, we're thankful for what we've been able to do um, so far, that that might uh, reduce traveling as well, depends mm -hmm. on how bad things get. But even more than meaningful, every time I go out, um, you know, it, it's, a, it's a realistic, sobering mindset to know that, you know, not everything's smooth and perfect and easy and safe anymore. Um, but uh, even more so the reason why people need to hear a message of hope. You know, I, I just tell everyone just take one day at a time. Um, and I really believe faith and prayer helps me and my family uh, to get through those times. And um, I think nations really need to understand the power of prayer because we do need God. Um, the human nature is selfish. The human nature wants to be dominant. The human nature wants to control others and unfortunately that's the evil side of, of mankind. Um, I think we need to embrace this time where we can stand united, um, loving each other, helping one another out, uh, but also praying for our enemies um, as well and not hating them but, but loving them, hoping that they change what they're doing. Uh, but I don't believe um, in any change without the power of prayer. What do you think is important for young people growing up in today's world to keep in mind? You know, I think that the root of the biggest evils that we see in the world actually starts from pride mm -hmm. and bullying. Yeah. Um, someone thinks that they're more important than someone else. And I think bullying's everywhere, in every single school, and if we really want to see this world change, um, I think we should start in our schools. Um, I think it's a great place to start. How do you think social media impacts your work, especially in the tech-driven world we have today? You know, I love it. I love the tech-driven world that we have. There is a lot of negativity, um, yet we can learn a lot more now with that. I also think we haven't even reached the base of the mountain of mm. the goodness that can come from social media, not just socially, in individual ways or holistic ways, but really targeting philanthrop uh, philanthropic projects and goals that really can blow things out of the water. Um, can you I'm, tell us something? I, I really believe that, that it's only a matter of time before 400 million people around the world give one dollar a day to alleviate the suffering of humankind. I really believe that it'll uh, supersede anything that any government has done for any any philanthropic work and I think it's if everyone 400 million gives a little bit a lot can be done <laughs>